Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. So, since Horde Night, I have done a fair amount actually. Did some buying, some selling, and I found a new town. I ran through to kind of map some of it out and get an idea of some of the buildings. But, I also bought a shotgun book. I think that's it for books. But then I also found this little area. This connects directly to Hub City, so I'm thinking I'm going to build a essentially a, a FOB, a forward operating base, around here and use that as kind of my midpoint for making incursions into Hub City. Because otherwise having to run from my house down the road all the way over is kind of a long run. But at least here I can keep some supplies. It can kind of be a midway point. Even though it's kind of... If I were to run from my house to the FOD, it's still a long distance. But at least I can load up a ton of stuff, pick what I want, bring it back, leave what I don't want here. But, before I can even do that, and before I can explore a bit more, I need to clear this town a bit. Because I need a workbench for a surprising number of things. I realize that, and it's become kind of a problem. This bat usually one-shots everybody except these fat guys. They're just the worst. Alright. Let's chop them up and get them out of the way. Yeah, I ran through managing to follow a road, just trying to find somewhere. I'd like to explore a bit more, but the problem is I'm getting so far out. Like, depending on where this road goes, where this road goes, where this deviates off, I could be going pretty far. And I, at, th at this point, I need a mini bike. I can't really delay it any longer if I want to keep exploring. So it's kind of become one of those do-or-die kind of things here. Because if I can't find it, just a natural spawn of one, I'm going to have to make it. And I hate making them because they take... The resources that they require can be put to better use elsewhere. That hotel is going to be another episode unto itself. As we've seen before, those are nice long runs. Um, there won't be one in there. Won't be one there. Oh yeah, I did a bunch of hunting, so I got like 25 more meat. Won't be one there. Maybe in this little ramshackle house? I can't remember what's in these. This one might just be garbage. Yeah. It's kind of weird when this house spawns in a normal town. Since it aesthetically doesn't even fit. Ah, oh, crap. Ah! You know what? It's only fair that I kill everyone. Really? First guy who hits me instantly infected. Whatever, I have antibiotics at home, I don't really care. Wow, nice spawn. At least the infected mothers have a chance of dropping some good stuff. The Spike Club is just nasty. Except for those rare instances where someone can take multiple hits. But I think I might have just clipped an arm or something. And these big boys. Gosh darn thick boys. Oh, 
Okay, is that everybody? Yes, it is. Splendid. Alright, well... I'm gonna hack everybody up just because there's no point in leaving them. I was kind of hoping one of these zombies would have had something good on them. There is a zombie somewhere. They're very adamant about being heard, but not doing much else. Whatever, I'll chop these up quick. Oh, and there's more of you now. Okay, whatever. Dear lord, I hit you so hard you became spaghetti. Your shoulder's not supposed to do that, nor is your neck. Where's your stomach waist area supposed to go sucked in and... You done messed up. Chop chop. My inventory's gonna be full before I even get anywhere. That's fine, I can always just destroy crap if need be. Ah, what sucks is most of these places I just know won't have a workbench in them. I need very specific buildings. We've got a gas station, a pill place, bookstore. I don't think I'm gonna find a place with a uh, workbench here. My best battle will be to try to find at least a house. Or not, not a house, a... a really anywhere that might have a hammer. Because I need a hammer. Eh, I kind of want to keep a hammer though. I, I essentially need to make a hammer and then dumpster a second one. I really like this house. If I could find these spawning outside of a town, I would totally build a base out of one. This place has a lot of food, which is fantastic, but not at all what I care about right now. And we can keep following this road a bit. Though I don't- I think this end of town has like nothing. Yeah, it's garbage. I think another bunker house, or just garbage. Yeah, it's just garbage. Ah, uh, that kind of kills me. I think I've said it before, but I kind of wish, like, normal towns had a bit more of a towny feel. Like, every town needs to have, like, a little police, even a little police station, a at least a small town hall. Just things that give the town vibe. Because otherwise these seem like they're just really weird... Like... It's almost like a cross-section of a town where it's like, okay, we have a couple well-to-do houses, a couple stores, a couple of this, that, and the other thing. Just shove them in an area. And it just doesn't feel right because nothing really meshes. But that's just me being a butthole. And we'll just bust open this door because it's easier. Half of least resistance, ho! Ooh, I need that. Yeah. I'm not gonna take the leather, which is a shock to some who may watch this. I've got a good 250, if not 300, leather at this point. If I'm really jonesing for a couch to bust down, I know I got one here. I am sense. I'll take the paper. I built a, or I made a 
bunch of bullet tips and bullet casings just to boost my gunsmithing. So now I can make shotgun shells. And now that I can actually make a shotgun, I can start using one. Ooh, chainsaw. I think I already have it, though. But I can use it. Second chainsaw. Now if I don't have it, I can sell one. But the thing is... Now... I think about what I was saying. I can use a shotgun for my incursions into Hub City. Which will be good against Feral, so I can inflict winded on them. Oh yeah, that was the other thing, is I found an Enforcer magazine. Did not know chainsaws. Now we do. I can sell that. And there's a shotgun schematic. I'm not even mad. At this point in the game, it's one of those things where... If I didn't buy it, I would have sat here, hunted for it, gotten bent out of shape because I never find it. Bought it, and then I'd find it like this, just somewhere. So I'd rather have just spent the 600... Duke's coins on it, gotten it done, then sit here and essentially gamble on finding it. I've done that way too many times. You know, it was like day 29 or day 30. At that point, I should have this already. Ooh, really good shopping basket. Iron chest armor, I will take that. An auger, which I know. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make a ton of money selling all this crap off. Know the iron gloves. I'm not hungry, but I need to use space. Um, let's move the bottled water. Yeah, it's my inventory, to my hot bar, so I can just chug it. Second one. We'll just take the painkillers. In real life, that would be reckless. Depending on how many painkillers you take. Hunting knife. And... Most likely kill dogs. Yep. I will take that. Alright, uh, we'll just dumpster the nail. I can make nails easily. More money. This will be paper. I think I really need to make a drop chest. Considering I'm already full up on stuff. Doesn't help. Half of this was crap I just found laying about. I can get rid of two stone. I can... I can make the sacrifice. Empty, empty, empty. Corn seed, don't need it. Beverage coolers. I love how often these fridges are empty. And this will probably just be paper or miscellaneous trash. Sandwiches. Empty paper. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna break in and get to that safe, because that'll be useful. Okay, I need to go kill them. They're getting really loud. You too. Stab it. Crack your heads open. Can 
Can I get rid of anything? Eh, sham. I can dumpster it. Not like I'm really jonesing for it. Alright, I'm gonna go make my drop-off chest. Then quickly come back. And grab what's in that safe. Totally zoned out while I was mid-sentence. But go back and get what's in that safe. And probably just hit gas station. Eh, what's in the sedan? Please be nothing. Ah, oh, it's never nothing. We'll hit both of these. Please don't be more crap. Oh, you're more crap and you're crap I need. I mean, I'm glad, because that, that makes things easier with that hammer, but at the same time, why you do this to me? I'll check you in a moment. I can't keep just checking stuff. It's just killing me inside. There's too much stuff I need to take. I need to check there, because I get a sneaking suspicion there might have something, but that's a very sturdy door. Um... God, that just kills me. The Brother Theater again. Won't make the same Hulk Hogan joke twice. I gotta give it at least a season, then I can make it again. Pop. That guy just got drive by Ooh, more stuff. I'm really bad at this stop checking things kind of thing. Okay, drop off chest here. Uh, we will drop gas barrels. Take it, I need to inflate these to get them back to the sides. <laughs> oh, that was even worse, having to see it instantly just puff up to normal size. So much stuff. It's gonna be like the other place. The, the last intersection where I had 8 million things ended up making 5-6 trips. Just collecting crap every time. That church won't have anything of value, I've hit those before. Hey, you're empty. Sweet. Make my job easier. Ah, it just sucks because the theater's got, I think, two safes. A regular safe and I think a gun safe. So that's time and effort with potentially no payoff. I see you inching over towards me. And I see you popping out right here. You know, I'm actually going to use my crossbow. I made this thing for a reason. Apparently that reason was to miss. Yeah, it's to miss. Yeah, I'm just screwing this up now. See, the thing is, with PC, this is a lot easier. Because you can aim a lot better. But then they don't really do anything for consoles, so you just... are at the mercy of being bad. And as of recording this, I still haven't heard anything about another update. Alright, let's bust this open. Slowly. 
Eventually it'll open. At least chopping through the door now is easy. I think this place is just crap. Wait. Okay, so there's no mines. For a second I thought there would be. Yeah, it's... it's, it's crap. Hey, bullet casings. Those can go with my other... 700 and some. At least when I actually get around to making bullets, I'll be able to make a ton. I'm not taking glass. Even though I can melt it down into glass and just make a ton of bottles, which I need to do, I'm still not doing it yet. Yeah, we're definitely going to hit the gas station. Well, at least that guy had a good amount of stuff. 2762 rounds, 229 millimeter rounds. I will never say no to someone carrying ammo on their corpse. Oh yeah, I have to hit the bookstore. That's what I was going to do. And I'm pretty much full up again. Ah, the life of a hoarder. I haven't even started selling gun parts yet. Mostly because I'm saving them, because I want, what I want to do... I'm not going to take the aloe vera seeds, I already have aloe vera growing. But what I want to do is take... all my gun parts, and over time get good gun parts, like, you know, 500 shotgun barrel. And then take that shotgun barrel and just repair it using other gun parts fed into it. Um, I'm not hungry. Okay. Paper. Neat. Hmm. What do I get rid of? Need the animal fat. I need that. I do not need one feather. The world will not end without one feather. I've got a good 4,000 feathers. Yes, no. I thought about taking... Ooh, I could actually take that lead. Uh, I thought about taking... what you call it? Spacing out. Words are difficult. Tasting and brewing. I knew the word would come to me eventually, but I thought about grabbing that and making beer. But the problem is, I can't make beer without a hops plant, and I don't have a hops plant. So I'd have to wait for one to be sold, and then it takes... it takes way too much hops to make a beer. It's really counterproductive. I'll come back for that crap. Alright, so got everything out of there, dropped stuff off. You busted your shins. I do not remember what I was talking about. Oh well. If it was important, I concluded my point. If not, well, well, it'll get drudged up eventually. Everything always does. Happy I got that hammer, though. Now I just need a second one. Or a nail gun. I will gladly accept the nail gun as a substitute. I just want something for faster building. Because when I build my fob, I need to be able to throw down wood pieces and just rapid fire get it done before I get rushed by zombies. Because even though I'm going to be outside the spawn radius for all the crap in Hub City, I still don't like being that close. I've I've built dangerously close to Hub City before, and it's always dangerous. So it's something I'm never 
I'm never overly keen on holding out there. Because, yeah, you can get really good stuff out of Hub City, and, I mean, cop spawns. Cops are essentially your source of infinite guns and ammo. But it comes at the cost of they do a ton of damage to your structure, and they're pretty damn dangerous. I've, yeah, I actually managed to live there once. Actually, it was one of the earliest times I was playing. I teamed up with a friend of mine, and we were living in a gas station. We had ringed the place with the big wood spikes, and we made a bridge with a couple hatches that on Horde Nights and at night time we would open up so that zombies would fall onto the spikes. I remember getting chased around by ferals and... Yes! A workbench! Oh yeah, they do spawn in garages in parking lots. Not parking lots. Gas stations. Sweet, I completely forgot about that. Well, now I have that hammer for making what I want. And this trip has instantly justified its existence. Ah, now I'm in a good mood. As long as I don't die. Then I'll get pissed. That's the happiest tone I've ever said that in. Ah, I wish I could just... What would be nice is if there was a locked side to doors and an unlocked side. It's always found it strange how you could sit there, go on the other side of a door, and it's like, yeah, it's locked from this side too. And I'm just sitting here thinking, what door does that? Working stiffs. Ooh, pickaxe. That is a good find. I mean, I can make slightly better pickaxes, but it's a simple fact that's a pickaxe I don't have to make. No, and we'll see. I could use the food. You know what, I'll just head back, drop it off, and be back here. Alright, another drop-off done. What was I gonna grab in here? Oh yeah, food. Food, bandage. That's it. Gotta knock these doors out. It sucks having to set up a drop off chest, but that's kind of always expected when you clear places. And it's something I suggest to people. Yeah, you can sit here and do what I do sometimes and try to put uh, ascribe a value to things, but in a game like this where you need damn near everything, it's easier to just go that route. Ooh, good magnum parts. Sweet. That actually will go well with the fact that I now know how to make a magnum. Still kills me though. Took till day 30, essentially 31 if I had waited, to learn how to make a shotgun. Mini bikes being like, what, week one? There's a airdrop over there. It. It's right by the road out of this area, so I might hold off on it. Actually, now that I say that, I'm going to mark it. Just so I have it kind of remembered. I mean, I try to do best practices when playing this, but... It's just stuff I would suggest other people to do, too, like make sure you mark down locations for airdrops, 
make sure they're set as a certain thing, like, I always have it the X, the caves are always caves, the shop looking one slash thing that looks like a fruit stand is always shops or my farm, one of the houses is always my house. Since we can't, or at least I don't think we can on console, put a name next to things, I just do it that way. And because if I actually started putting names to everything, I'd spend, you know, 45 minutes trying to properly name everything and make it easily identifiable. If there was, like, a number of cars I could loot, I would have it labeled as, like, car crash, and then I'd have to figure out what did I intend by that, and... I'm a smart man, but I'm also really dumb. Because I will do that, I will make sure things are methodical and properly laid out, and then two weeks later I'll come back, look at it, and go, what the hell is this? And I do that a lot. Like, for someone who knows exactly what they're doing, I do it continually, and then I come back, get confused, takes me like ten minutes to realize, oh, that was my plan. I don't learn. I really don't. Okay, everything else good. Do I want to eat the potato? Nah, we'll eat the potato. I kind of want to take this cooking pot, but it is not worth the time and effort. I heard someone banging and stuff. Boy, did you really just do that? You broke in here. I will call the police, madam. Come on, fall in the hole. Come on. I got these spikes specially done, lady. Just fall in. You are really gonna be this stubborn, huh? Fine, I'm gonna bust your legs. No, stumble the other way. You're falling into those spikes one way or another. Nah. 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 This would have been so much cooler if she fell into the spikes and, like, busted them up and died, but no. Oh, I can't even see the cup very well. Rotting flesh, large bone, rotting flesh. Don't care! Was that all I was gonna clear out today? That, that, random houses... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm already gonna be full up on crap and I need to get that workbench back home ASAP so I can start working on the mini bike and all of that. And I can ferry all the stuff back and sell all the stuff to get more stuff. So, that is all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. If you are new, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.